Good morning, Daily Boulders from Czechia. Listen up, about 50 kilometers away is an ancient church made of skulls and bones and all kinds of weird body parts. So I thought, why don't we have ourselves a little Daily Bold adventure here in Czechia and go and Czechia it out. Anyway, there's no buses there or taxis, so I'm gonna have to flip in hitchhike, but um, hopefully someone will stop and pick us up. Let's do it. Oh, here's a car. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, hello. Hi. Do you need a lift? Yeah, I need a lift. I'm going to the Church of Bones. Okay, jump in. I will take it, sir. Wow, legendary. We've got a lift already. Let's go. Benjamin. Ali, nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Let's go. Flip it out. That was a nice surprise. Indeed, nice surprise. Well, it's a long time no see. So anyway. Did what? you miss me? <laughs> Not at all. What's been happening? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of things. A lot of things, I bet. Anyway. Our conversation sounds so natural. Yeah, are you ready for a trip to the Church of Skulls, or whatever it's called, flipping it? Uh, Kutna Hora. Uh, yes. Let's do it. Let's go to old Kutna Hora. Let's go, vamos. Wow, there's a castle on the hill. There's an ancient castle. Can we see it? Oh, how do we get up there? That's amazing. So wait, where are we going? Right, left? Uh, but according to this, go! Let's go over there and park up a second. I'd love wait. to go and see. Whoa, oh, bloody hell. Whoa, well, Ilinchik, he just crossed a highway without looking left or right. We're going to Britsby. Alina's taking us on an unexpected adventure through the village of Bristby. I want to go and check out that castle, can we? Oh, look how Czechs live! It looks like it. Oh, okay, yeah, amazing. But we saw on the edge of this village a castle. Go up here, please. Wow, but I just love going through a Czech village. Look at it. Check it out. There's like a pub. There's a statue of a dude, a Czech dude, carrying a cross. Czech Jesus. Imagine living in a little village. Wow, well, stop at the war memorial, please, Alien Chick. We need to stop at that war memorial. Come on, let's check out a Czech war memorial. Pull up, please, Alien Chick. Well, as we can see here in the old village of Britsby, is a war memorial for the First World War, 1940 1918. Of course, wow, just looking at the names here. Of course, many Czech people died in these lands as. The tide of war swept through Central Europe. And these are the names of the people of this village in their ages, 22, 26, 28, mostly in their 20s, 53, 48, but mostly young men from this village who went off and died in the First World War. And here comes Alina, my chauffeur. Look at this lovely driving. Oh, even a little beep to wake up, to wake up the people of Britsby on a Sunday morning. Can I have a lift, please? Yes. Oh, thank you. The lady who lives one kilometer from the abandoned, fa the abandoned castle doesn't know where it is. Dicky, Dicky, ask her how is life in Britsby? She likes it? Wonderful. <laughs> okay, okay, Dicky mods, Dicky mods. Wow, that was a Britsvian. We got some we got a street interview with a Britsvian. There she goes, back to her life in Britsby. The life we'll never know. Where is the lady sent us? Up some dirt track. Okay, let me check. Wow, Yevropsky Vizhnamna locality, a European sightseeing locality or something like that. Let's climb up this muddy hill. I didn't know you also speak Czech. Yeah, me Czech's coming on. Me Moravian is coming on. Let's climb the hill. Watch out for the mud. Not every adventurizing adventure has to be Soviet. Sometimes you can do some ancient history adventurizing in the heartland of Central Europe. Ain't that right, Alina? Right. Oh, check it out. Ancient Britsky Castle or whatever it was.
I imagine that there were castles and churches built on top of hills all over these Slavic lands hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Places for contemplation and places for retreat in times of war when invading armies came to Europe. Wow. But not anymore. No one's going to be hiding out in old Britsby Castle now. Check it out. Totally destroyed. Did you like Britsby Castle? Was it worth the hassle of asking directions, getting lost, coming all the way up here? Was it worth it for you? Worth it, yes. It was worth Definitely it. worth it. Good. Happy to hear it. I will do it again. If you're wondering if I'm a little bit nervous with Alina driving as we go about 90 miles an hour through a little Czech village, yes I am. Benchik, you're in good hands, don't worry. Am I? Okay, keep your on the road please, flipping neck fire. Oh fuck, here's uh, cameras. Oh. We're in good hands. Anyway, I've rented a car. It's a, it's a Skoda. I don't know what condition the owner of the car is going to get it back. And probably you're not surprised it was the cheapest car we could find in Prague. It was the cheapest car. It's about $8 a day to hire it. But um, hopefully it gets us to old Kutnagora where this church is. amazing gears and everything. Skoda. The Czechs love a Skoda. They're very proud of their Skodas. The Skoda is like a Czech person, nothing fancy but reliable. This was a good one. That was a good one. And this is the villages of Czechia. Czechia Mount. Wowzers. Dobre din. Prosím vás, kde je to sovětský město? Město. Abandoned, old, broken. Bytov, tam jsou Rusové, Italové. Ano. Jo, to je ještě z první světové války, pak tady byla Rakousko, uherská armáda, jo, za první světové války, po druhé světové válce tady byly Rusové, jo, 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 naše armáda tady byla potom ještě, pak tady byly Rusové, ještě, takže to je. Velmi historické město máte. Jo, takže. Ano. takže... Tak děkuji moc, jedeme jo. tam. Děkuji moc, děkuji. děkuji. Nice to meet you, thank you. Okay. Oh, careful. Be, be careful with this lady at the wheel. Wow, this town that was a former Soviet army base is just full of abandoned buildings. You don't really see that in Czechia. But here, there's just abandoned buildings everywhere. Look at this building here with Russian writing. I need your help, Aline. Check to do some translating. Okay, let's go. There's Russian writing here on the building. What's it say? I think that even says uh, a part up there, it says Lenin. No idea, but something about safety. Something about safety, not that interesting. Nothing about Stalin or Lenin. But anyway, there, can you see it up there? Still after all these years. That's been there since, well, at least since 1991, when the Soviet soldiers packed up and left all their bases in Central Europe, in Germany, in Czechia. But here we can still see some Russian writing that remains after all these years. What's inside it? Oh, there's an abandoned larder or a Moskvichi. There's an abandoned Moskvichi inside the Russian writing building. Can you see that? Check it out. Everything in this town was built for the Soviet military. Look, the Red Star. And now it's just been taken over by the locals. Someone's using it as their scrapyard. Wow. Things have changed in old Czechia. Wow, look at this, Alinczyk. Built in 1983. 1983. Who was in charge then? Was it Andropov? Was it Chernyenko? Was it Brezhnev? I don't remember. But anyway, 1983, built by the Soviets, this building. God, how many billions of rubles are wasted building these bases all over Central, Eastern Europe, never to be used. And then just abandoned in 91 when the Soviets packed up literally overnight and got the hell out of town, heading back to their Soviet republics. And now, just this, what remains of them. Reminders of the past. Well, we're now racing through the villages of Czechia to get to the Church of Bones because it closes at four o'clock and it's about 20 to four now. So put your foot down, Alinczyk. Okay. 
let's get to the Church of Bones in time. We don't want a space church situation. What was space church situation? Ah, long Did story. Long story. Long story short. I was looking for wives in a Ukrainian village, but that's not okay. important. I'm getting jealous. Where's Kutnahora? In the 1200s, a monk here at this church in this village brought some land, some earth I should say, from Golgotha, the place of Jesus's crucifixion. And hence, in the times of the Black Death, the plague that spread through Europe, thousands upon thousands of people came here to this church to seek salvation. They died and they were buried here. Thousands of them, and the priests didn't know what to do with all the bones. And so, they decided to decorate the church with them. Let's have a look inside. There are the bones and skulls of 70,000 people in this church. This is so freaky, the whole room. Look at it, just bones and skulls all the way up to the ceiling of the church, look. Just thousands and thousands and thousands of bones and skulls. Would you like your skull to be in this church one day? Yes, but on the lamp. You want your skull on in the lamp? The chandel oh, I think that's nice. Yes. On the top. You were looking for a chandelier for your new apartment. Mm. Maybe a skull one. This would be cool. Yeah. Okay. You and Fidel. Oh, when Fidel will die, we can bring him here. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, that was the journey to the Church of Bones. Oh, interesting. Thank you for picking me up and bringing me here. No worries. Always welcome. All right, then, I'm guys. I'm looking for next adventures. All right. I've got Johnny. <laughs> hey. You be traitor. Don't push me over in the Church of Bones. All right, guys. Until next time, that was a little daily bold adventure from myself and Alinchik. We'll see um, you again. Bye-bye.